Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to build a very inexpensive self-wicking bucket. It's an idea that I first saw on the Gardening with Leon YouTube channel where you can visit. And this one is specific to Canada and more specifically to these five gallon Rona buckets. Ultimately what you get in the end is this bucket right here, which allows you to fill it through this tube, this PVC piping, and then keep probably about two weeks of water at the bottom so you don't need to water it regularly if you go on vacation and it fills from the bottom. So the first step is to drill a hole and the reason I was saying that it's unique to Canadian and uh, audiences in Rona is just that I don't need to measure this. But the drainage comes from having beer cans uh, that we drill some holes in. And so the beer cans go into the base of this bucket just like that. And I already know from having built a couple of these that if I drill through the O of the Rona on the bucket, I've got about an air space of an inch and a half below it, which is, or above it, which is what I'd like. And so the first step is to drill with any drill in through, I'm gonna put my safety-ish glasses on. You drill in through the O, and then you can see with the diffusing light, that the beer can stands higher than the O. Next step is to drill some holes into the beer can. And so you've got to push a little bit. I drill two onto the top, and then two into the bottom. And you can use anything. You don't need to use beer cans. You could use empty water bottles, anything that would allow you to put an airspace in here. And I'm going to drill a few more. I'll pause the video and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like inside. So as you can see, this takes 11 uh, tall boy beer cans as far as the amount goes. And they get arranged in a circle with two in the middle where dirt is going to be packed tightly into either side of those two in the middle. And then uh, not as tightly, perhaps uh, around the sides. And in turn, that's going to serve for the wick. And so in terms of putting in the PVC piping, First thing is when you do cut your PVC pipe, which you can buy, I bought mine in a 10 foot length. Uh, I just used a hacksaw because I don't have anything fancier than that at home. But I cut it on an angle so that when I put it down into the bucket, uh, it won't get plugged by the bottom of the bucket because of this angle over here. The other thing to mention is that we drilled the hole in on this side. So I want to put the, the filling tube in on the opposite side. So I just shove this into the bucket over here. And the only other thing that's worth paying attention to is that it's nice to have the handle on this side because depending on how tall your tube is, uh, you might not be able to get the handle to go all the way up. So just flip your handle over on this side uh, and then put the tube opposite the hole. And then you can just fill this with some dirt. And so my assistant can come a little bit closer. Thank you, dear daughter. And uh, so as far as the dirt goes, I think I was mentioning before, it's important to pack it in tightly to the center on the sides of those two cans, because packing it in tightly makes sure that it will function as a wick for water. Uh, because again, what you want is that the bottom of this area will fill in once you water through this tube, and it'll fill up the cans where you've got holes on the tops and on the bottoms of the cans. And then, because we drilled that drain hole on the side and we drilled it at a level lower than the actual uh, cans, there's an air space which allows for air pruning of roots and prevents them from getting drowned by the water. And then it's just a matter of filling it. First fill, you probably do want to water a bit from the top because again, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to wick. So you water some on the top and then you can fill up through your tube. You fill up the bottom and although it'll take a while, I'm not going to show it to you. Once you get full, full, the water will drain out that hole that you drilled in the O of the Rona. And I would drill it near to the bottom of that O. And so total cost for this, assuming that you don't count the cost of drinking your beer, um, this tube probably cost a buck or two bucks. Uh, the actual bucket was 397. 
and I'm gonna put a little bit of hay on the top to help with evaporation, or you could even buy the cover and just cut out holes for your plant and for the tube. Uh, but for a very inexpensive amount of money, you can create a very efficient, useful, uh, easy to manage self-wicking bucket tub. Thanks.